All right, welcome back, guys. I just got past that big boy. I should have drank water before I started this episode. Oh, well, good thing I have the other one. Let me get some water. Oh. Also, if you've noticed, I feel kind of stuffy. So, um, hold on. So yes, um, last time we were talking about, uh, what was it? Stop cutting corners, that's what we were talking about. And the importance of not cutting corners, you gotta push yourself, uh, you're setting yourself up for failure if you cut corners, because you will never actually do the most you can do. You're creating a habit of, of giving up before you even really try at something. You're like, oh, this is too hard. This is, it's not even that it's too hard. It's just, this is too much of an inconvenience for me is usually what it is. It's not so much that it's actually hard because it really isn't. You can do it. It's just, you don't want to. And that's, that's a very dangerous thing to, to really, um, shit. Oh. Where's DK? Ah, oh, hell no, I'm not going down there. Oh! <laughs> ah! Hold on. Hold on. I, I need the halfway mark. Unless I've already gotten it, which I don't think I have. Kill birdie. Oh, there you are. Thank you. I just rolled on his head. Ah, jump. Oh, look, a barrel. Okay, okay, anyways, yeah, we talked about not cutting corners last time and that it is not good for you um, You're setting yourself up for failure. You're you're teaching yourself to not push yourself. Um, it's just not a good thing Anyways, oh Beautiful that was a pro move right there Boom Look at these skills. Look at these skills. Look at that. Uh. There we go. I'm telling you, I'm not that bad at this game. It's just... Uh, uh, <laughs> it's just hard to focus on whenever I'm talking. Look at that. Did I beat it? Oh, well, not yet, apparently. I beat it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I had a DK right there. Hey, I already got the save point. Cool. Anyways, this time, we're talking about um, having an alter ego. So if you don't know what an alter ego is, it's kind of like Bruce Wayne is Batman, right? Um, I forget what Superman's actual name is, because I'm not a big fan, to be honest. But, you know, Henry Cavill plays Superman, so let's say his actual name was... What was his name? I feel like it's something that I should remember. I don't remember if this was the case, but when I was a kid, I always thought that if... Um, in this level, right? The poison pond? That if you don't do it fast enough, you die. That might be true. I just don't remember, to be honest. Because I think... Oh, damn. I think the last time I played it, I beat it before anyone died, so... Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anyways, um... Having an alter ego is like having a another personality that uh, you become. It, it's like you're, you're tougher or you're sweeter or whatever you want to be. That's what your alter ego is. You know what I mean? So let's say, for example, you're a very timid person. You're a very shy person. You don't know how to speak up to people. And your alter ego is someone who isn't afraid to talk to people. Someone who isn't afraid to say what is on his or her mind. Uh, that's what an alter ego is. And why is that important? So th the reason why having an alter ego is important is because sometimes we have certain limited beliefs on ourselves saying like, oh, I'm not good enough for this, or I'm not smart enough for this, or I'm not very good with this or that or whatever the case is. Your alter ego though is, your alter ego is good at everything that you're not good at. At least a good alter ego should be. Um, oh shit. So for me, my alter ego is Knowledge Bits, and Knowledge Bits is good at video games. I'm kidding, but that's the idea. And, oh, oh no. 
<laughs> no! Okay. But yes, um, you gotta you gotta psych yourself out. So sometimes, for example, I, I mentioned uh, going into an interview, and someone that would be better is usually someone who who's prepared ahead of time, right? And so, an alter ego could be someone who you psych yourself out to be. So let's say you're going into a job interview, right? Um, they don't know who you are. They've never heard of you. They've never seen you. They've never talked to you except through like an email or something, right? They only know your credentials, your name, and that you emailed them back or something like that. So now you're going into your job interview and you're you're thinking like, oh, I'm going to go and be this and do that, blah, blah, and they're going to like me. It's like, okay, what if they don't, right? And you're like, okay, what kind of person are they looking for? That's who you want to be. And honestly, it's fair. Like, I, I don't blame people who who try to be something they're not when they're trying to get a job interview. It's a tough world. Do whatever the hell you got to do to to get ahead in life. I mean, not kill people or something like that, you know? But you know what I mean. Don't be afraid to... <clears throat> don't be a afraid to adapt to the game you're playing. Come on, please. Just give me the... Just... just uh, yes. Okay. Now I can talk. And so, yeah, having an alter ego would be like, okay, let's say, for example, I, I have a degree in computer science. I'm going to go get a job interview for Google. Uh, is on guard over here? Please be on, over here. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me, let me just get through this. Oh, there he is. Nice. Um, yeah, so I'm preparing for an interview for Google, right? And I have not um, had a job anywhere else. I am a solid programmer, but I know people that are better than me at it. Um, whatever. If I go in there with my my mediocre um, belief in my computer science uh, abilities, I'm not going to get the job. Let's be real. It's Google. They're going to hire someone who's confident in their abilities. They're going to hire someone. Damn. Okay, is he is he going to come back? Please come back. Nah, he's probably gone. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, they're probably going to hire someone who is very sure of his, his or her abilities. Um, someone who's confident. Someone who talks like they know what they're talking about. Um, and yeah, and that that's that's really all that that matters to a lot of people. It, it's it's the conviction. It's the confidence. It's, it's how they sound when they speak. Um, and sometimes you got to psych yourself out to do that. Because it's like, let's say you're not a person that likes to lie, right? Hey, look, I'm not telling you to lie. I'm just saying, sound like you know what you're talking about. Oh, damn, these fish. Oh, I couldn't do it. Oh, maybe I couldn't, but still, fuck this. Um, but yeah, speak with conviction. Speak with, speak with, um, what's the word? Speak with uh, confidence. Speak with something that people are looking for. You know, if you're going somewhere, if you're any kind of interview, you want to sound confident, you want to sound like you know what you're talking about um you want to smile you want to you want to be ah oh shit you want to be someone that people get along with so play play the part it's okay you don't have to be that you just have to act it and the thing is that at certain points in your life if you don't do that and you don't you're lacking a lot of qualities that people are looking for whether it be in um in an interview or in a friendship or in a relationship or whatever uh, sometimes you just gotta adapt, man. Or woman. You, you just gotta adapt. It, it's okay to to be afraid. It's okay to to be unsure about things sometimes. But let me tell you this. People don't like people who are afraid. People don't like people who are unsure of themselves or unsure in general. Uh, people like people who are confident. People like people who... Who act like this shit. You know, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of dumbass people that do that, right? They're they're idiots, but people are still drawn to them, and it's like, what the hell? Um, and I'm with you. Uh, I I saw a lot of that growing up. I was like, why is this person with this person? This person is a very kind, great person, and this person is such a jerk or whatever, right? Both with guys and with girls, I've seen it on both sides. Uh, but it's the confidence. That's usually what it is. That's why people, if you're like in high school or something, uh, people like football players because they act like they're the shit. And it's like, oh, I want to be around this person. They just like the confidence. Um, 
and people like cheerleaders because same idea a lot of times i mean some of them just because they're pretty sure but a lot of times uh, that's why they come off like assholes a lot of times uh, people that are jock very jockey people come off as assholes because they're very confident in themselves when they oh <clears throat> when in reality they know absolutely nothing or are not very good at anything um they just happen to be in a position where it's like oh i'm a football player look at me type of thing you know um but my point is when you have an alter ego no one knows oh that was too fast when you have an alter ego no one really knows um <clears throat> like first of all if you if you have if you're using your alter ego with people you don't know they're not going to know any better they're just going to think like oh this person's awesome this person's this this person's that whatever you want them to believe right because if you're if you're portraying in that um if you're portraying that you're confident people are going to think like oh yeah this person's very confident if you're going to portray that what the hell <laughs> that was weird um if you portray that you're fun to be around like you're crazy like hey let's go do this but you're very spontaneous i guess is the word um if you're portraying that you're spontaneous to people that don't know you they're just gonna assume that you're spontaneous they're not gonna know any better um now if you if you use your alter ego with friends your friends <coughs> uh, oh yes your friends won't necessarily be like, oh, you're acting different. I mean, I guess to an extent, yeah, but they're going to be like, oh, he's being fun a lot of times, you know? So it's okay. Um, be your alter ego. Sometimes it's fun to be someone else too. Um, I think my girlfriend, I don't remember if, it, if she was the one that told me, but I heard somewhere that, damn, I, I just thought I could duck on the room. I heard somewhere that people, some people wanted to be actors because they just wanted to be a different person, you know, like live in a different time. I think my girlfriend was the one that told me that because she always likes uh, different time periods, like medieval times, the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they act, the, the oh shit, the way, um, the environment, the, the parties, the, you know, the, the status type of shit is, and, and yeah, I get it, 100%. Sometimes you want to be something else because you're like, oh, I hate being like this. And it's like, okay, then just be the other way. And so one easier way to do it besides just telling you is create an alter ego. Set some, um, damn, set, set some personality traits for yourself. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to go into it blindly and it's like, oh, well, I'm this, but you don't know who it is. It's like, no, uh, tell yourself what you want to be and then act like that. And then if you were listening to if you watch my i don't know if it was the last video um or if it was a video before but i was talking about watch your thoughts they become words watch your words they become actions watch your actions they become habits damn watch your habits they become your character watch your character it becomes your destiny so same idea if you start acting in a way that that isn't you let's say quote unquote right if you oh i need to focus if you start acting in a way that's like, oh, this person's being more, like your alter ego, right? Is being more confident, is being more comfortable with who he or she is, is being more um, fun, is being more thoughtful, is being more sweet, whatever it is, you're gonna start to do things that um, that people with those personality traits do. If you're someone that's more thoughtful, you're gonna think about people down. You're gonna think about people a lot more. You're gonna do things for people a lot more by default. And remember, the, the quote, the reason I mention it is if you start doing things, that's your actions. If you start, <laughs> if you start doing it more frequently, um, you're going to start to actually be like that. You're going to start to be uh, sweet. You're going to start to be confident. You're, you're going to start to be uh, what you think you're not. And that's why it's important to have an alter ego. Your alter ego is your gateway to being who you want to be. That, that's all it is. It's just a matter of you... Uh, mentally telling yourself like hey i oh okay hold on <laughs> Watch out, gerbil boy. Yes, I beat it. Anyways, it's a it's a way for you to to gear towards what you want to be, you know. So, 
have your alter ego think about what you want to be um think about the personality traits that you want to convey to people that you want people to see in you you want to come off as as uh powerful make power moves take the first step go up to someone first and shake their hand that's a power move why because it shows confidence it shows power it shows status it shows that that you're not just someone that's waiting around hiding in a corner someone that's hiding in a corner you're not going to think of them as powerful someone that's standing up tall someone that's going up to people being comfortable shaking their hands introducing themselves that's someone that's powerful you have to do things that um you have to do things that someone with a tr- personality trait that you want uh, does. So if you want to be confident, you have to do things that convey confidence. Be speak freely. Don't be hiding. Don't be quiet. Do something, you know. And I'm as I'm saying this too. It, I feel this, you know. I I'm starting to notice like, hey, um, I need to do things like that myself too because I haven't done it in a while. And like I said, this is part of the reason why I'm doing this, guys. Uh, Knowledge bits is all for for people to improve themselves, for people to grow, for people to have fun and watch video games at the same time, you know. And that's what I'm doing this because I'm like. I want to play video games. I haven't been playing video games. I mentioned it in Mega Man X when I started. Um, I have not been playing video games regularly for a while, and I miss it. And I want to play new games. Um, and at the same time, I want to improve myself, get myself to the next level, um, and just enjoy life more. You know. All right. That's gonna cut it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to share. And I always say share because that's. That's the key, guys. It's not just about uh, the channel. It's also about people. If someone you know can benefit from something that I said in this video, you should share this with them. Not for my sake, but for theirs. Not for your sake, but for theirs. You know, Let, let's be a little selfless and, and actually reach out to people. And, and yeah, and share it with them. And hopefully they get something out of it. Just tell them, like, hey, just watch the video. It's okay. It's only 20 minutes. You'll live. How many pointless videos have you watched in your life, you know? Um, but yeah, alright, that's it for this one, have a great day guys, uh, hope everything is good, hope your day gets better, hope everything in your life starts going in the direction you want to, um, alright guys, goodbye, love you.